Hi guys and welcome to this short little video. In this video I'm gonna unbox the DJI Phantom 4. I just got this in the mail today and I think it's my Phantom. So let's just open this box. And of course I opened it the wrong way around. And this is the Phantom 4. There's a little seal you have to cut open. And here you can see the box. There's a nice little handle so you can pull it out. And this is the box. It's made out of, out of a foam. It feels kind of sturdy. So here's the, the lock mechanism. Just have to open it. Yes, and this is the drone itself. It comes with a lot of accessories. And I'm just gonna start with the transmitter. It feels kind of nice. It's a little bit small compared to a FreeSky Tyrannus, for example. But it has a lot of switches, buttons, gimbal wheel, record button, and some special functions. And this phone holder is made out of metal here compared to a Phantom 3 where it is made out of plastic. This is the drone itself. Just gonna pull it out of the foam. It is really kind of small, I think. I also own a F450 from DJI. And yeah, this is rather small. There's also the battery mounted side of the captor. There's a pretty nice gimbal holder of plastic and easy to put on and put off. Um, there's also an SD card. It's only 16 gigabytes but it comes with it so In this little pouch, the, the props it comes with two sets of props. There are some props with silver circles on them, and also some with um, black circles, uh, as this one here. So this is the pouch. Um, here you can see the plug for the charger. On the bottom there's the charger itself. It's rather small since it has to power a pretty huge battery. I'm just gonna put it out of the plastic. It's kind of funny that these chargers are now white. Maybe because they sell these drones in Apple stores too. <laughs> I think I don't have to unbox this cable. This cable is for updating the Phantom. You just put the cable and the connector here. And then you can connect it via, via USB to your phone. This is a USB to micro USB cable, I think. Yes. And this cable looks like pretty similar to Apple cables. <laughs> it's kind of awkward that they don't actually give you a lightning connector. 
but don't know. Um, this are some manuals, I think. Yeah, but I uh, think you don't need to go through this manual. Of course, everyone knows the rules. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of it. There's nothing down there. So again, this is the Phantom 4. This is the battery. As you can see, it's a 5350 milliamp battery with 15.2 volts, so it is 4S. But it's it's rather small compared to like multi-star batteries and other stuff. And it's also fairly light. It has the new connect too. So you're not able to use your old batteries or you're not able to use maybe your DIY charges. And in this case there are there's place for a lot of batteries. I think you can put it like this. Is that the case? So you can put one battery in the Phantom and two more besides the Phantom. And yes, I also bought some other stuff which I'm going to show you now. Charging the batteries is really easy. You just need to plug the, the charger thing in and then take this long connector put it in it's not necessary to look at the polarity because you can put it in both sides and as you can see it's already charging the battery i also got this package and these two things here So this is the other package I got in the mail today with a few accessories. This one here is another battery because you obviously need one, more than one battery. Uh, I ordered from DJI because this battery was like half the price. So I saved around 80 bucks I think. I also bought another charger and another power cord so I can charge both batteries at the same time. There's maybe a DIY charger available yet but I don't know so I just went with them it's like 50 bucks or something like that and yeah. Last but not least I got a neck strap or like more like a shoulder strap I think for the transmitter because when using an iPad the transmitter is going to be pretty heavy so I thought this would maybe be a good solution but I think you know how these straps work so I don't have to show it yet I'm also gonna open the battery <coughs> comes in a nice little foam insert here yeah nothing special about that just the same battery also a little bit powered yeah there is also a manual but I think I now don't need this either and need a safety guideline for battery. Um, I don't need to read this either. And so these are the two things I showed you earlier in this video. I also bought a big class 10 SD card just to make sure they don't run out of memories, memory cards. And this is a lightning cable, a short one, so I don't have like a one meter cable hanging around the transmitter. This is like 
long enough to power the iPad and yeah so all in all these are my accessories not a battery lightning cable a SD card a better strap and another charger I also put some ND filters in order but they don't show up yet I might gonna show you the ND filters in another video I hope you enjoyed watching the video about the DJ Phantom 4 I'm already looking forward to do some cool videos with it and stay tuned, bye!